Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight, and I cannot believe it. Yeah, that's right. I cannot believe I have not read the book. I thought I had, but when I checked, I had not. This book is by John Burningham and it has got to be one of my favourite books of all times. Mr. Gumpy's Outing by John Burningham. I've read Mr. Gumpy's motor car but I'm sure I read this to you guys. But here we go. Now I just want to say a big big Shout out, thank you, to all of you listeners, subscribers, likers and thumbs uppers everywhere. Um, Just hit the follow button because I do read books almost every day. I released uh, 186 last year, so that's about one every two days. So whether, whether you're listening on Spotify or Apple or anywhere else, Please, please hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified of another bedtime story. But let's get back to the story because it's all about the story here on the Lights Up podcast. We're getting well on our way to the mission of a thousand ad-free stories forever for boys and girls around the world. But tonight, Mr. Gumpy's outing. Can't believe it. Once upon a time, this is Mr. Gumpy. Mr. Gumpy owned a boat, and his house was by a river. One day, Mr. Gumpy went out in his boat. May we come with you? said the children. Yes, said Mr. Gumpy, if you don't squabble. Can I come along, Mr. Gumpy? said the rabbit. Yes, but don't hop about. Meow, I'd like a ride, said the cat. Very well, said Mr. Gumpy. But you're not to chase the rabbit. Will you take me with you? said the dog, not the chicken. (laughs) Yes said Mr. Gumpy, but don't tease the cat. (coughs) May I come, please? Mr. Gumpy, said the pig. Very well, but don't muck about. Have you a place for me? said the sheep. Yes, but don't keep bleating. Can we come too? said the chickens. (sighs) Yes. But don't flap, said Mr. Gumpy. Moo, can you make room for me, said the calf. Yes, but don't trample about. May I join you, Mr. Gumpy, said the goat. Oh, very well, but don't kick. And for a little while, they all went along happily. But then... The goat kicked, the calf trampled, the sheep bleated, the pig mucked about, the dog teased the cat and the cat chased the rabbit, the rabbit hopped, the children squabbled, the boat tipped, and into the water they all fell. The Mr. Gumpy and the goat and the calf and the chickens and the sheep and the pig and the dog and the cat and the rabbit and the children all swam to the bank and climbed out to dry in the hot sun. We'll walk home across the fields, said Mr. Gumpy. It's time for tea. Goodbye, said Mr. Gumpy. Come for a ride another day. The end of... Mr. Gumpy's Outing by John Burningham, here on the Lights Out Podcast.
bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night. <laughs>